Uh, hello. Uh, this is Misunderstood, aka Dread. I'm here to give you a tutorial on hair. I'm going to make a group based on tutorials and creation. I basically learned created, creating and developing on IMVU uh, by myself. I taught myself, so my ways may be a bit unorthodox, but they get results. I have been sitting at pro level for about four months now. So let's get started. Hair is the subject of today. Let me close out this project here. Uh, I had to make a quick object, a quick item. Okay, that is closed. This here is your program that I prefer to use. Uh, I'm okay. I'm, I'm pretty savvy with Photoshop, but I prefer GIMP. So this right here is your GIMP dialog box. If you do not have that, uh, well, excuse me, your layers dialog box. If you do not have that open, all you have to do is go to Windows, go to Recently Closed Docs, and it should be there. Now, if you just install GIMP, I'm not sure if you already have it or what. However, if you did not, Dockable Dialogs, and you can click mm, simply, excuse me, go to Layers, Channels, and Paths. Each one of them will pop up as you select one. Now let's get started. Now basically on IMVU when you create with GIMP, you really need layers. So the first thing you want to do, you want to create a new layer, which is several ways you can do that. And I preferably go to advanced options. This is create a new image right here. That's basically what I do. Excuse me, I said new layer, but create new image. And um basically I go to advanced options and I fill with transparency that's a habit you don't have to but it'll make things a lot easier for you especially starting off and my width my dimensions my dimensions are going to be 256 by 256 that is normally that and 512 by 512 is usually the dimensions for many templates meshes opacity maps and etc so let's go ahead and start with 256 by 256 there's your image and let's double check I'm gonna to go to file and I'm gonna to go to open excuse all of this because I do have files everywhere let's go to hair attempts just to be sure I haven't made hairs in a while yes I am correct 256 by 256 and one thing about hairs I do hairs differently each time each time like you you mess around with it you play with it that's the fun in it you mess around and you, and you bring out your creativity so okay let's get started what color hair do we want to do first you get the color of the hair that you want to do let's just do regular color hair uh, you want to do black let's not do black let's do Let's do hmm. blonde is so tricky to do. Let's do pink. <laughs> Let's do a pink color. You simply take that that hold your mouse and click it here. Up oh. and click up. Oh. I don't want to do it. I don't know what's going on. Let me see. I hate when it does this. Okay, not too not too panic. You can simply click on the bucket fill tool, which is this tool right here, the one that's selected, and simply click there. Or you could go to edit and fill with foreground color. So pink is our color, and I told you layers are your best friend. Layers are your best friend. So we want to create a new layer. Okay. That's just for that. We can name everything. I like to name things. Uh, base. Let's call it base. This right here, we're gonna call um highlight. Okay, now with your base, we can simply just go to noise filters, then noise. Let me stop going fast. I'm not trying to have this video go super long, but filters noise, and I like to use RGB noise. But you also can use HSV noise. Either or whichever floats your boat. Let's try RGB noise. 
and as you can see it gives you this this pixelated graphic of pink more of I like to uncheck each box and I like to play with it you see I like to play with it but here let's just set this at about 20 20 select OK and there we are now we would like to go to the highlight layer get your brush that's your brush tool and we are going to click on the brush and you get your brush which is going to be your fuzzy brush let's use your fuzzy brush uh, we don't want the highlights to be too big so we're going to keep the random uh, circle fuzzy brush number 19 your scale at 1, your opacity is at 100 and your blend mode is normal all of this here what I just stated normal blend mode opacity 100 brush circle fuzzy number 19 scale how big the brush is how big that circle is you see 100 so what we're gonna do just pick various spots I'm going to do three I'm going to okay I'm going to do one just simply okay hold on okay simply right here just click somewhere and let's hold down shift hold down shift to make a straight line and voila straight line then we're going to put one right dab in the middle no we're going to put one like right down here it all varies where you put your lines because that's the uniqueness and the creativeness of your style of hair, how you want your hair. So we want to turn this scale up to about three and a half. Okay, that's a little too big. Let's do three and a half. Three and a half. You didn't have to do it manually like I did. You could have just typed it in. Three, period, five, enter. You would have had this. Once again, we're going to shift it. We're going to place the cursor, then we're going to shift it, hold it, and do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, what we're going to do with this layer, highlight it, highlight layer, highlight it. We're going to go to go to filters. We're going to go to blur. We're going to go to motion blur. And with motion blur, what we're going to do, we're going to change this length to 90. 90 is approximately a good number 90 and at the okay okay excuse me excuse me told you it has been a while we're going to change the angle at 90 uh, 90 then we're going to turn the length to about 50 I think it was 50 to about 50 then we want to select so there you have a selected image. Now we're going to go to our base layer, which we should have did this first, but I like, you know what I mean? I like getting everything out of the way. So we're, we're almost done. We're going to take this base layer and we're going to go to filters. We're going to go to reshow motion blur, or we're going to go to blur. Then we're going to go to motion blur, select it, and voila. Now you see why I did what I did, because if you clearly look, you can clearly see a simple hair follicle. We can play with it. You can play with it if you want your hair to be like, you know what I mean, smaller, whatever. But 50 is usually my ideal, 47, 50. And simply select length 47 or 50. 47 and 50 is my preferred state. And then your angle always should be 90. Then you simply select the. Okay. And there we have it. There we have it. Now, this right here, we could call a cotton candy hair. Do. And what we need to do, we can just go back to highlight, go to the mode, the blend mode, and we can play around with it. Play around with it. See? Overlay is basically what I use. I use overlay and soft light. I heard one person say that it's two different things, but I think it's the same thing. See, that's soft light, and this is overlay the same thing it really didn't change so after overlay you have dodge uh, you have different ones that's soft light 
and then you could see look we, we might want to use this grand extract grand extract so uh, I'm not going to use that though or we could use addition you know what I mean addition is basically a brighter version of the normal mode so we're going to still overlay and we could you can play around with it you could duplicate the base layer and then take that base layer and change your blend mode you see overlay I told you I like overlay I love overlay okay I'm gonna go ahead and finish this video now simply what you do after you have your texture or whatever you take it you go to file you go to make sure you pick the folder where you wanted to save at my up-and-coming developers make sure you have folders for everything that you know how to create excuse me I have hair tips so I'm going to save this as cotton candy dot PNG. PNG, always save it as PNG. I don't care what anyone says, JPG is okay for IV pictures. You have a limit, but you have a limit also, like megabytes in um, create mode, but PNG is perfect for products. Click save. When your when your menu box comes up, export file, export, keep everything as is, everything as is. When you come to the save as panel, your file saves, and voila. Thank you, Sergio. Apologies if it was too long for you, but I am here to assist and to aid. So any questions, please leave them below, and please subscribe to the channel. Misunderstood five. My avatar is misunderstood, spelled just like the YouTube minus the last five. Thank you and goodbye.